Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Codextral, a.k.a. Hactual, and today we're going to be talking about the Grand Stream GWN7000, uh, the Enterprise Multi-WAN Gigabit VPN Router. Now, when it says Multi-WAN, you can have up to three internets connect towards this, So, and you can set up a what it's called a load balancing or a failover meaning is if one internet crashes the other internet remains up and if that uh, secondary internet crashes and you have a third internet uh, that's connected it will stay up and online this also from what i noticed will combine the internet speed so you can you can have the same uh, internet service provider or you can have two different ones which i have two different ones uh, because if my internet goes down like my primary internet goes down and I have the same second internet uh, service provider and um, like what what if the whole entire block goes down and every same user of that ISP goes down then what's the point of using the same ISP uh, twice so I have two different internet service providers so if one provider goes down and the other providers up so um, it's for redundancy uh, I, I just want to make sure that I'm always online, and uh, it's great. I also like the fact that it doubles my internet speed as well. So if you want to have two of the same ISPs, you can if you want to, um, and just double your internet speed. So it offers gigabit. Uh, it's, again, multi-WAN. can have up to three internet service providers. Um, it has a Wi-Fi AP configuration, a VPN, uh, it has a printer NAS, and a DPI. All right, let's talk about my setup. Let, let, okay, other than it's a it's a rat nest and like everything's like you know kind of messy, so let's not talk about that. All right, so here on the far right is my Comcrap, um, which is my main internet. Up here is my Centrelink, which is my secondary internet, and right here is just a computer. Okay, so I'm just gonna point out the things that matter for this video. Internet 1, Internet 2. Then it connects towards my grand stream here. So two internets go into grand stream. Then I have a hub and I have a couple Raspberry Pis that act as a ad blocker with uh, with AdGuard that connects to my PFSense router here. Even though that is a computer, I converted it into a router. Then from this router to an actual router that has a VPN on it, um, for other people to connect to, uh, because I was too lazy to configure a, um, uh, a different VLAN. So I just have a actual physical, uh, different LAN so people can connect to if they ever want to hop on the network, but they're always on a VPN because I don't want them on my subnet. But yeah, let's go ahead and look at the back of this. Um, it's going to have a whole lot of, a whole lot of mess to it. I might mess this up. Uh. Damn it. Okay. This is so scuffed. Okay, so this is where you can connect um, USB ports like a printer or a NAS or you can even have a uh, um, like a, a hotspot modem pop in then it has your additional um, WANs or excuse me your LANs and right here is a WAN 1 which this is the primary internet WAN 2 secondary internet and right next to this which is really really hard to see it will say NET 1 so net one could be used as a WAN or a LAN. You just got to configure it into a uh, into the um, admin page, the GUI. So that can essentially have your third internet provider if you have one, or you can connect a uh, you know a hotspot. So let's hop on the admin page and let's talk a little bit further about this and my setup. 
All right, now that we're on the computer and there's some stuff that I'm going to be blurring out, like on the bottom left corner, it will say IPv4 and IPv6. Those are my actual IP addresses um, that's connecting from my two ISPs, so don't mind that. Um, however, I just wanted to show you some proof that if I were to disconnect WAN1 or WAN2, it will still be able to pull the internet. Now, um, I want to hop on YouTube here and we're going to play like some random video and you can see WAN1 or WAN2 is going to start, um, start buffering a whole lot, a whole lot, not buffering, but, uh, start, uh, loading in data. So right here, it's starting to uh, load in. So my WAN1 is like being a little bit idle and it's saying, hey, WAN2, do all the work for me, which is completely normal. Um, I actually want my WAN1 to do all the work because it's uh, I have a add-on plan that has unlimited data. And as for WAN2, I don't have unlimited data for that. So let me go ahead and just unplug um, WAN2 two and you'll see when one will uh, actually still be able to um, still get internet and they'll start using all the internet actually all right now you see that it, it cut uh it, it cut the feed um there, there's no data that's transferring so if we go ahead and just reload the page here you see that i still have internet so that's the magic of having two internets with a special router that has, uh, quote, load balancing, end of quote, or quote, fell over IP, end of quote. So I like having um, that option where if I were to ever have an outage or if someone's like, hey, I'm going to hit you offline, it's like, hey, <laughs> yeah, you hit off my main internet. It's not hard for me to change the IP on that uh, regardless. But, uh, you know, I still have a backup plan. So, and, you know, I just never join that person's party ever again. Or, you know, um, again, this doubles as your internet speed. Let me go ahead and plug my modem back in. And it just works as normal. So you can also see on WAN2 that, um, that uh, you know, red check mark. Or red check mark. A red cross. Um, you know, just to signify that it's it's down now that our internet is back up and running you see that it automatically has a green check mark uh, there's nothing special that you have to do extra um, whenever the internet goes out and uh, you're gonna have to wait till it comes back on you don't have to do all this extra configurations it's just waiting it keeps sending a ping request out towards the internet on the WAN 2 if it goes down it's like are you alive are you alive are we able to get um, a connection and it says yes then it will pop up that green check mark and now we're up and running um, I'm gonna show in a separate video of how to set up a uh, a load balancing and or a fell over IP. So just in this video, it just talks about uh, the benefits of having these two features or one of these two features uh, enabled. So essentially, um, it's kind of odd to say because load balancing will combine it to the connections. Fell over IP shouldn't uh, combine two of the connections, uh, but however, I do have a fell over IP set up, and it's still binding the two connections, so it's a little bit weird of how this router um, acts, and it's have its own uh, definitions of fell over IP. So I guess it's fell over IP plus load balancing. I'm not 100% uh too sure of how it exactly configured that if someone knows how something like this works if it's load balancing plus fell over ip let me know in the comments down below uh, that's what my thinks uh my thinks my thought process is but um yeah um if you guys like this video go ahead and uh drop a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video which will definitely uh, talk about setting up the load balancing slash fell over IP if you end up do getting this router and getting uh, a second uh, internet service provider. It can be the same one or a different one. I just prefer a different one for my instincts because again, if one company goes down on the entire block uh, on your um, 
by block I mean neighborhood. Um, but the other company in your neighborhood is up and running, and everyone who has that is up and running. Um, you might as well get a second different ISP if you can, but um, I hope that makes sense to you. All right, like, share, subscribe. See you in the next videos. Don't forget to hit that post notification. Peace out. Protect your privacy and identity. Unlock sensor filters if you're trying to get to a no-no site or you just want to be anonymous, whatever your reasonings are. You can connect to the VPN tunnels within seconds by using private internet access. Links are in the description. It's so low. Like the the it, the cost is so low. If you're not able to afford for this, then you know you're just broke as just as I am because I'm trying to get affiliates ads going on. Yeah, this is a sponsored video, by the way. Um, VPN features and look at all these great features: uh, secured VPN account, encrypted Wi-Fi, peer-to-peer -peer support, and so on and so forth. And you can connect to 33 different countries, and there's a lot of servers to go around. Plus, there's a fast download. I use this for myself as well when I try to get to those no-no sites. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the continued content and thank you for the support. Links in the description. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care and thank you once again.